I'm Stephen from Flipper Channel. I've put Model A wheels on my Model T. Sacrilege, I know, and controversial, but I had good reasons to give it a try, and I was super curious how it might change the ride and the steering. In this video, I'll show you how I managed to fit Model A wheels on my 1926 Model T, the geometry and structural differences between the two, and why I did it. Be sure to watch to the end. I will show you how you can tell Model T and Model A wheels apart at a glance, even when they're all jumbled together at a swap meet or flea market. Model T's in 1926 and 1927 had an option for wire wheels. I want to restore my green wire Model T wheels, but this will involve sandblasting, repair and straightening, priming and painting. It's going to take a while and it's going to cost some money, so I want to be able to take my time and not be rushed. But I don't want to park my T for the whole time, so I wanted another set of wheels to use on my car while I'm restoring my original Model T wheels. I have a collection of wood demountable wheels, but upon inspection they all need lots of repairs. And they would require that I change the hubs too, so they are not a great option for me. I looked to buy a second set of wire Model T wheels, oh my god they are so expensive here in Canada, and they are rare as hen's teeth, so that's not going to happen. But Model A wheels are much more available. Now I know, I know, Model A wheels are a different bolt pattern, they can be different size, they have different hub face geometry, and they have different offset. So I decided to give Model A wheels a go. I have a set of 19 inch wheels that I've sandblasted and painted. The Model T wire wheels have a 5 bolt pattern on a 5 inch bolt circle, but the Model A wheels use a 5.5 inch bolt circle. So I found some aluminum adapter rings. These adapter rings are about an inch thick. As it turns out, the offset on the Model A wheels is different than the Model T wheels, and the difference, conveniently, is just over an inch. So the contact point of the tire on the ground, and all the kingpin geometry, etc., is still going to be perfect. Steering effort, bump steer should all be the same. I weighed a complete Model T wheel with rim, tube, rubber strip, and tire, and compared that with a complete Model A 19-inch wheel, and their weights were identical. So no concern that the new wheels are heavier or lighter than the previous ones, and the rolling diameter is essentially the same also. Some experts contend that the shape of the inner part of the wheel is so different between the Model A and the Model T that it will lead to problems. The theory is that the Model A wheels were designed to contact the Model A hubs at the bolt circle and at two other more outboard rings for support, and that when mounted on a Model T hub, the Model A wheels will have insufficient support. 
I know a thing or two about mechanical design and structural analysis, and I'm afraid I just don't buy it. I believe the Model A wheels will be at least equal in strength to the Model T wheels. I will report back what I find. The spare tire mount is on the back of my car and it's also designed to work with the 5 inch bolt circle diameter of the Model T wire wheels. I could have bought an extra set of the adapter rings and used one of those, but instead we made some eccentric offset bushings. I decided I wanted to try a double spare as well, just to have some redundancy if this doesn't work out as well as I'd hoped, and also because it looks kind of cool. So we turned up some offset posts as well to support the second wheel. Let me know what you think of the double spare look in the comments. I had a good look at this spare bracket where it mounts to the car and found it had good secure mount to the frame so I'm not concerned about the extra weight and the bending moment added by the extra wheel. I'm hoping to run a little less tire pressure with these bigger tires now. The new 19 inch tires are 5 inches wide nominally, where the Model T balloon tires are only 4.5 inches wide. I'm hoping that leads to a slightly better ride and a little bit more damping from the tires. At least I'll have a bit more rubber on the road. All that's left to do now is to get some miles on it and see how these new wheels perform. I'll check them regularly for cracks and we'll report back in a future video. How do you tell a Model A and a Model T wheel apart at a glance? It's easy actually. All Model A wheels have these triangle reinforcement bends and Model T wheels do not. There are other differences of course like the wheel hub diameter and the dimension of the bolt pitch but the triangle reinforcements are the easiest and quickest way to tell them apart. You might want to also check out my tire install video where I mount new tires onto these Model A rims without using any tools at all, using the garbage bag trick. Please consider subscribing to this channel. It's free and you'll be notified when we publish new videos like this one. Thanks for watching.